sorry, there's a there's a guy on his motorcycle trying to show off over there. Um, welcome to Nashville. What's up guys, Sean here. Um, so we're in a parking lot again. Um, I'm waiting for my daughter. She's in ballet class right now. So I figured, you know, I got about a half hour. It'd be a perfect time to make a video for you guys. So one of the things I wanted to test out here on the Canon GX10 is it's got built-in ND filters. Um, and it's a, as you can tell, it's a super bright, sunny day. It's what most of our days here are in Nashville in the summer. Um, but it's not too hot yet, so you're not gonna see me glistening. So, um, but anyway, so I've got the, uh, got the Instamic on. Um, I'm super impressed with this thing. Um, I'm getting to learn how to use it. I think my audio is getting better with each video. Um, but I really love, on the Instamic, I love the dual mono. Um, because there was one video that I recorded that the audio was completely blown out and I was frustrated for about a minute and then I realized, oh, I have a whole nother mono channel that was recorded um, at like 64 decibels under what that one was. And that audio was perfect. Um, it was a little, little under, but you know, I was able to, to bump up the audio a little bit. So we're recording this right now um, and I have the one over 64 ND filter that's built into the camera um, I've got it set up right now. Um, it's got face detection on, so I can tell that, it, that my, my face is in focus. Um, and let me see. It's hard to tell on the screen whether the background is blown out or not. Um, but the importance of ND filters is, I don't know if you ever notice whenever you're, you're standing in, in broad sunlight and um, you know, all of the colors are really, really washed out. Um, so what you want to do, you know, in or so you can see better is you put sunglasses on. And that's essentially what ND filters do. You know, when the sun is at its highest point, um, everything is super bright. Um, everything, you know, there's not a lot of contrast. Actually, that, take that back. There's too much contrast. There's really bright brights and there's really dark dark so everything that's black is still going to be black but everything that is um you know light colored will be even you know overly light so what an nd filter does is it doesn't let in as much light so if you've got um you know there's there's certain lights there's certain lenses that you use in low light situations but there's other lenses that you use in brighter situations and whenever things are really bright you don't want to let as much light in um, to get a good decent shot so what ND filters do is it puts sunglasses on your camera um, so that it doesn't let in as much light so the sensor in your camera can understand what's going on a little bit better um, I'll be anxious to, to see if my audio comes out in this video because I am in a super loud suburbia type area so so anyway so this enough talking um, we're just going to show we're just going to change the ND filters in the camera and then we're going to be done with it all right um, and I might point the camera at a couple different situations just to see what the um, what the, a difference the ND filter makes um, I'm not going to color code any of this video in the beginning, um, but I'm, if I like a shot that I took, I might show you what, what it looks like after I've color graded it, um, and we'll see what the difference is. All right, guys? So, um, we're going to take the ND filter off. All right, guys. So, this is with no ND filter on, um, and I've got the camera in auto mode. So you might not see the transitions as much because the camera is like the camera is figuring out what it needs to do. Um, but with auto mode, hopefully this will work out great. So we're going to wait for this motorcycle to, to move on. He's going to show off right next to this guy. He's going to show off for the camera probably because I looked at him. Oh, 
he was actually pretty respectable. So that's good. So this is with no ND filter at all, but my ND filter is blinking saying, hey, you need to turn me on. Okay, so that's actually really cool. Um, so now we're gonna go. All right, this is with an ND of one over four. Um, so I, I'm, I don't know what, what all these things mean. I just know that one over four is, is, seems to be brighter than the one over 64. But the ND is not flashing anymore. Um, so maybe at the end of this video, when I get back in the studio, I'll explain to you what, what these different, um, these different ND filters do, because I don't know right now. Right now we're just testing it in the field to see what, what it looks like. Oh, I went too far. All right guys, so this is the ND filter that's at 1 16th, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, um, you can just see, it looks like the clouds are really, really showing up in this shot. So. So you've got it divided by a quarter, and then 1 16th is a quarter of a quarter, and then 1 64th is a quarter of a quarter of a quarter. So I don't know if that's the amount of light that it's letting in, so if it's letting in, or if that's the gauge of the tinting. Because um, I know when you get your car tinted, your window's tinted on your car, there's different grades of tinting. So that might be what those numbers mean, I don't know. but. Um, but yeah, we'll go back in the studio after this and I'll tell you exactly what those, those things mean. But um, I'm just gonna point in a direction, point the camera at a couple different things and then we're gonna go through. So now we're at no ND filter and we're gonna point in a couple different things and we're gonna switch the ND filter just so you can get an, get an idea as to what the difference is, all right? Gold's Gym. So this is with no ND filter. This is with an ND filter of one fourth. This is with an ND filter of one sixteenth. And this is an ND filter of one sixty fourth. Okay, so now let's look at something else. All right, so this is with no ND filter. This is with an ND filter of one fourth. This is with an ND filter of one sixteenth. And this is an ND filter of one sixty four. All right, now we're gonna look at the Jeep. Okay guys, so this is with no ND filter. This is an ND filter of one fourth. This is an ND filter of one sixteenth. And this is an ND filter of one sixty four. <laughs> one over 64. All right. All right, guys. So this is with no ND filter at all. This is with one fourth ND filter. This is with one sixteenth ND filter. And this is with one over 64. Now the one over 64 is blinking like, um, like it's too dark. So what this is kind of telling me is this situation, the 164 is too dark. But if I go back to the 1 16th, it's blinking as well. 1 4th is not blinking, so I feel like 1 4th is a good situation. And no ND filter 
is a good situation too because the ND is not blinking, okay? But as soon as I move the camera over here, ND is blinking like I need some help with this shot. So I'm gonna change it to 1 4th and 1 4th is good, okay guys? So something in the camera that's telling me, that's really cool that the camera is telling me that, okay, this is a good ND filter for this situation. I'm at 1 16th. This is another ND filter that's good for this situation. And then we're gonna move it to 1 64, and 1 64 is blinking. So I feel like this ND filter, as according to the auto functions of the camera, is not a good ND filter for this situation. So I'm very happy that this camera is, this, especially this auto mode, is kind of helping me do all the work that I need to do. Um, now manual mode, you can get some really good shots out of manual mode, but manual mode is a little bit more fiddly because you have to play with the variables in there to get a good shot. But if you know what you're doing, the, um, then it can, it can really get you some good shots out of this camera. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video. This was ND filters on the, the Canon GX10 um, in 4K, 60 frames per second. Um, just playing around with this camera, trying to find out what all these buttons do. Um, I've, I've worked with ND filters in the past, but I haven't worked with ND filters on this camera. And I haven't had a camera that came with ND filters built in. So, um, so yeah, just another thing that I don't have to buy because this camera already has it. So um, a lot of you have been wondering why I'm going to a camcorder. Um, I feel like this thing just does everything. So I don't need to buy extra mounts. I don't need to buy extra lenses. I don't need to buy ND filters. I don't have to buy microphones. You know, there's just, it just does everything. So a lot of the money that I would waste buying lenses, I can just, camera just has a good lens on it already. So um, hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, comment on this video about the GX10 and whether you're planning on getting it or um, what you think about the videos that I'm, that I'm putting out on it. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.